Alright, welcome back to the channel guys. So in today's video, we are going to build the whole full stack website. Um, I will show you right now. So we were going to use the Next.js stack with Tailwind, TypeScript and, and yes, with the same CMS sanities. Okay, so what is the website will look like? Okay, so the website going to be similar like this one. If you've seen this, so this is the website from the web flow that I'm currently working on and it actually work not working on but it's free on web flow but like if you have been a native coder you won't need to use the no code to build and it's have a few of the constraint so I, I see the design is very inspiration so I want to make sure that I will code it uh, I, I, I able to code it in my uh, Next.js project and if you see this, it is very beautiful and of course it is responsive uh, for everything and yeah, so some of the uh, skill we're going to also implement into the creative website here so this is very very uh, good website to become uh, to have it on the portfolio because that if you know that the current uh, Pickabone Spark also very famous see, it's very beautiful right Okay, so uh, this is for the introductions. We are going to set enough uh, this website. All right. So the first thing first, we're going to have uh, set up the project, the Net.js, and after that, we're going to have installing some of the fronts uh, you see in here. And if you don't know what the front is, the website you want to build, I will recommend you can use the front ninja. You will see that we have the code. Vertica condensed regular and Satoshi variable pool. So two of the front going to use this project, and you can manually uh, download and install it into your Net.js project as well. Okay, so before we jump into the code, I want to make sure that you guys have in my uh, GitHub repository uh, tenant web. So if you have uh, jumped into here, please leave a stars as like as you have thought whatever you guys want, you can do whatever you want. So to save time, you can go to the phone installations. I also prepare the phones already download and inside this folder. You don't need to make, do you need to do it again or you want to do it by yourself, it's fine. So in this tutorial, in this video, I just worked through very fast to save the time for for us. So okay, so if you see that, so I have two of the fonts in here. This one is the Covetica and this is for the Shatoshi. So how we go into uh, install it into the Net.js project. So it will very, very simple. Uh, first thing, uh, you need to have uh, the public folder which is contain few of the folder in here so the first thing is the fronts the second thing is the image and the third is the data this is the way I structure the project so if you go into the front you will see we have two of the folder represent for two fronts and inside it will have like a stuff of fronts in here so okay so this is the uh, the way we set up the fronts in one place so how we go into register into the project so you need to go into the global CSS, and then you need to have also with the tailwind config the right side like this so for the next JS, there's a lot of way to install the fonts but this is the way I do it it's pretty simple first thing you need to have uh, you need to call the front face in here and then you need to register the font families is the correct name remember it must be the correct name and the second thing is the sort which is direct into this uh, folder if you tick in this you can see we have this folder over here so the front satoshi so in the net.js uh, we just need to one have in one dash it's already targeted into the public and you go into the font folder and the phone number, uh, sorry, and the phone name, and then the phone you need to use, and the format is going to have the open type. All right, so it's the same with the Shatoshi. So we have installed into our uh, Net.js project, but to make sure, you also need to uh, import this global .cds into the layout of the whole project, like this one. Okay, 
it's very very simple and next step we go into resistor into the tailwind configuration to able to you with the tailwind uh, utility and when you register something like this form family and you call in the name of the phone for example Shatoshi and this name must to be the same name you register in here so we have the Satoshi Satoshi and the sand is the type of the front and Covetica is the name and you have Covetica name in here also with the Covetica in here and the type of the font so when you already do the upper step you are able to see that if we call in the fonts from uh, the tailwind utility like this one when you go into phone you have this phone covetica in here so for example let's check if i remove two of this what it would look like so it look like something familiar like this one right and then when i use um okay i should do this into here uh -huh. okay and then when i use it like this i will close this one this one and i call it in here font covetica and you see it start changing and font shatashi so you also it will also be changed like this and if you do something normal you will see the different up to of the font see so it's it's not that complicated but i know sometimes it will start to complicate it but like in the way i do it i make it simple as possible so you guys can able to understand uh easily all right so this video going to stop right now the next step we're going to setting up uh some of the thing for sample we're going to set up the header and we will build the header components for the website all right okay uh thank you guys for uh stay to the end remember to hit the subscribe buttons and like the video if you see the tutorial is pretty simple and straight forward all right thank you guys for uh stay to the end see you guys in the next episode